So now, let's, what other problems do we have that we've not yet run into? <laughs> what are the issues? We have this whole thing over here. Uh, oh, it's dormant now. Next at 35 cycles. So remember, uh, I set this up so that way... Well, first of all, this shit fell apart, right? But uh, what I wanted to do was open this up to space and allow it to just vacuum out. So, because the less, the less uh, gas that's in here, the less material for the copper to exchange energy with, right? So the, the reason why the liquid copper would turn into a solid copper is because it's exchanging all that heat with the surrounding gases. But if there's no gases, then there's no heat transfer, right? So we're going to have, I'm hoping that here in like a hundred cycles or so, we'll have a pool of liquid copper. <laughs> and then I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we'll, we'll have some fun with it. We'll figure something out. Um, I was thinking of, uh, of just dropping some water in there and just letting it turn into a, uh, you know, just a steam generator. But, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, what is that tile made of? Not in danger of melting? Uh, I, I don't know, actually. What is it made of? Sedimentary rock. <sighs> Frankly, this whole area I don't give a shit about. So if it does melt, I think that would be pretty spectacular. I would love that. Deep fry some dupes. I know. Look at, what is it? Uh, the temperature is 3,800 degrees. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Let me see. Uh, I'm sitting is a brittle composite of volcanic glass. Now, is that, what is the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Overheat temperature. No, it was the properties of the melting. Melting point is 4,900. Okay, how about this tile? Uh, 1,700. Oh, yeah, so this would absolutely melt, actually. Yeah. So that would absolutely melt for the second it gets uh, touched by anything here. I guess we could swap it out real quick with uh, some better tiles. What can we make? We can make out of ceramic. I have plenty of ceramic. We could just, uh, boop boop, super quick. If I do too many of these, they will get stuck. They will go out of their way to get stuck. Let's just do it. Don't trust these guys. Golden brown dupe, that's right. <laughs> Chefs, go and open your basket. Open your baskets. First you'll find... Dupe. <laughs> And some dragon fruit or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> hey, we got oxygen back in here. I didn't even bother checking because I knew it would work. Oh, oops, I forgot about this part, though. Um, let me see. Food, farm tile. Oop, there we go. Build that quick. Mr. Stream started because I was watching Subnight VOD and Twitch didn't inform me. Dang it. <laughs> and Terrace. It's okay. We just started like an hour ago. Hour and a half ago. It's fine. Bone copper melt ceramic. Ceramic has a super high... Maybe you're right. I just assumed that it was gonna that would be fine because it's ceramic, you know? But we are dealing with some pretty intense temperatures, aren't we? Sky Captain. Why did that power go off? It's just temporary, maybe. It was temporary, okay, cool. Just playing playing games, my heart. Uh let me see. What are we looking at down here? Well they did the one. Let me see, what is its melting point? Oh yeah, the 3300. So I think we could... Nope. <laughs> Even with ceramic! Yes, it does It does have a super... I mean, it's, it is. It's way higher. I mean, look, like this is... Uh, oh, I mean, just, just stop. Just stop doing it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it will get up to... What is that? Uh, 3361 degrees Fahrenheit or 1850 degrees Celsius. And the next stop here, the regular tile is 900 degrees Celsius, 1700. So we have effectively doubled what it can handle. Unfortunately, though, when we talk about liquid copper, uh, yeah, it's not going to hold. So I guess we'll make some tiles out of obsidian. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think we could build out of obsidian. We'll just do, or maybe like bunker tile or something, metal tile. Well, first, let's try obsidian here. Let's take a look and see if we can make it out of, uh, let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't really say. Oh, what is the overheat? Does, does it tell me the overheat temperature? Oops, shit. I've never had to deal with, uh, keeping, basically, lava in check. Let's just build a tile here. You believe obsidian say that we're gonna find out, so I'll just build a tile here. I mean, this is made out of obsidian, and it has a crazy high melting point, 4,900 degrees. So, I'd imagine if we built something out of obsidian, should be fine. But we'll just build one right here, just to make sure it's good, and then we'll just lie in it, so we will be fine. Oh, going to sleep, I guess. Food supplies going up. 
the ancient auto sleeper and telescope. Oh yes, God, I wish I could just ignore those things. Broken building, yes, okay, all that stuff. <laughs> okay, it's done. There we go. So what is that? Properties. Melting point. There it is. 4,900. Okay, so that's it. We'll make that out of obsidian. There we go. Eventually, we'll have our pool of liquid copper. And then when we do, we'll figure out what to do with it. <laughs> no idea. Will it do melt if they walk through that, though? Would it be like a, uh, like a... Like a Terminator moment or something? What's between the right of copper? I mean, that's obsidian too, so that'll hold. But the sandstone is definitely ripped if it gets over that limit. I mean, if, if we get to the point we are actually over this, we have like, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, eleven tiles worth of, uh... That's nice that they do that without actually leaking anything. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, if we, if we have eleven tiles worth of liquid copper... I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> How resistant are those suits? I don't know. I don't know. Should we just walk someone through? Uh, make pennies uh, into other... What is this? Uh, revelations! Matching flannels. What? Revelations. That's next week, Mike's problem. That's right. That's next month, Mike's problem. Uh, and trade... Oh, make pennies and trade to other. Yes. Oh, shit. They all... They all... Disappeared. But, but, the fight is not over, because, first off, these things are actually growing underwater? They could do that? They're basically drowning. Are you telling me this is a... Like, this is fine? <gasps> I have an idea. I just had an idea. Lightning has struck my brain. Dude, uh, let's replace these tiles with metal tiles. Huh? 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 Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Right? Yeah? Right? Am I right? Let me see. Uh, lead? High, high thermal conductivity? That's fine. We need something to use lead for other than cables. Still might get too cold. It might. Then we'll just swap it back out with, uh, insulated. <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. And maybe we could swap this door now, because the second we open that door, it's going to just come flooding. So yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's just attach this, and we'll just see how much cold it ends up transferring here. Because, um, yes, it's cold, but I'm hoping that we just kind of, you know, just, just, I'm hoping it just works, you know? What is this set to? It's a nine. Good, so they're going to get on it. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wolvie, come on. Let's go, Wolvie. Okay, hug shot. Let's go, hug shot. All right, somebody. Somebody bring it up so we can start the project. I want to see if this thing just like just push all of this coolness over to the left and how far it will go. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> Somebody's happy, a little balloon. Yeah, I didn't realize a sleet wheat uh could just grow underwater, man. That's um that's pretty neat. That is actually pretty neat. Water is a fantastic insulator. <laughs> <laughs> it does a great job of keeping temps wherever it's set to. No, we'll just wait for this to get done. I guess. No, you're not going to sleep. Okay, here we go. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, yes, go, go, go. Blink, there's one. Temperature right here is... Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Instantly got a reaction. Uh... <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm like, yeah, yes, Zeno. <laughs> I lost track of whatever that gif was, but don't worry. We don't have to dig that up. Um, so it, it did immediately have an impact right over here. Uh, is this sleep we actually still planted? It is still planted, right? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So it can handle negative 70 degrees. So right now it's at negative 40. So we'll see what happens. But I figure, you know, maybe after some time it'll, uh... Jesus Christ, negative 30. Unfortunately, you know, it works both ways. So it is going to, like, you know, impact the room itself. But the but the hydrogen in the room is so dense, there's no way it's going to win this fight. You know, like, I mean, it's, it's starting to shift in the direction of warming up. But there's just no fucking way that this little room 
with Wii's wards and Sleet Wheat and cold ass water is going to win a fight against an entire room full of ice temp shift plates and an AETM that's working overtime. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. It's already making its run. Haha, <laughs> fortune. Uh, here, <laughs> here for the for the for the for the the folks on YouTube. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good night. Well, <laughs> Alice, they don't care about that shit, man. Are you kidding me? This is like, this is weak sauce compared to the shit that they're. That they're circulating over there. <laughs> All this stuff. Shit. <sighs> Alright, so that's working. Should say it for only fans. I know, I should have been a DM. No, what is this? Overheat damage. Why? Because the entire room is getting so hot. Holy shit. Aluminum ore. Okay, that was that was okay. Okay. You know what? The aluminum ore thing, that might have been kind of dumb. Matter of fact, let's do this. They're all aluminum. Oh, iron, iron, aluminum, aluminum. I'm fairly certain at some point in time I looked at this and I said, I know I have to chain this out eventually. Uh, gold, 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 gold. I mean, these are all gold. Oh, and steel. Gold and steel. Like, those are never going to melt down, but these are a problem. And the only reason why these are a problem is because there's oxygen build up in here. And there's only oxygen build up in there because of fucking why? Because there's, I don't know, actually. Why is there oxygen building up in here? This is sealed off. I guess, you know what, I guess it's just because the hydrogen is slowly working its way up here. You know? That's the only solution I could think of. What is the density over here? Pretty dense. Remember, we had a lot of oxygen that we had to deal with before. And so I have a feeling that that oxygen has slowly worked its way up and around. Like, look, it's, it was pretty dense over here before. And so it's worked its way up, and then it basically came down over here. So... I did say that I was going to, uh, I was going to seal this off. I just have to make a couple changes to the way I do it. And then what we'll do, maybe we'll put a pump in here and we'll just have it just basically just pump, pump oxygen out and then replace it with hydrogen. We'll be able to put it down here at the bottom or something. Cause this eventually that's where all the oxygen is going to get it's down here. Just pump all the oxygen out. And then, uh, oxygen going to be hot. Actually, maybe we'll just inject that shit into fucking space. <laughs> just get rid of it. We can make we can make new oxygen. Damn it. Alright, let's start pumping some of the hydrogen down here. We need that hydrogen to, to keep this area in check. Damn it. Air. Damn it, oxygen. Aluminium. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's aluminum though. Notice that there's no there's no uh stray eye in this one. Let me see. So first things first, let's work on getting the the seal going. So what we'll do is we'll build a another line here. Can't U-turn yet. Oh boy. Okay, good. And then also we have to kill this as well. Oh, we'll kill that in a second. And then we'll have to kill all of this plastic tubing down here, which actually they can pretty much get to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do buildings. And then we'll just kill all this. In case you're wondering, why are you doing this, B? It's because you can't turn. You can't make a 90 degree turn into a joint plate, right? So this is gonna this part, this tube here is gonna get replaced with a joint plate. One of these uh, transit tube co uh, crossings. There we go. That's what it's called. You can't just turn right into it 90 degrees. You have to actually turn 90 degrees and then go one tile, one tile. So that's why you have to move this entire tube up one tile. Let's go ahead and raise this one up a little bit so they get on that. Thank you. There. So I'll take care of that. What do we have here? Okay, why'd you do that? Rearrange. I'm gonna click on it. Barbecue. Just because barbecue in here. Uh, I was quite amazed it was probably as wild aluminum. Like in real life? Overheat damage. Oh shit, they're all overheating. <laughs> they're all overheating. Where is it getting that hydrogen from, by the way? 
Ah, just from, uh... Ah, okay, it's being fed from this. Okay. Well... Let's get this, let's get this job done here first, and then we'll, we'll worry about how we're gonna take care of that. Four hundred something conductivity. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> Did not know. I have no idea, Sky Captain. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, my, my wires are made of copper. The ones I use for my projects are made out of like copper or something. <laughs> That's all I know. All right, pitch pepper nuts are good. We didn't. We never did set them up with a better area to uh, uh, to cook in. Poor boots. Inferior gear. What is happening over here, though? Well, there's some hydrogen mixed up with all the steam. Hmm. We must have like double double dormancy going on right now or something. Let me see. Uh, dormant. Next dormancy. Oh, it's actually happening right now. Not dormant. How about this guy? This one's dormant. Okay. Oh, you know what? I bet this the, this oxygen and this hydrogen was always here. We just didn't see it because it was compressed into a corner. <laughs> this is a lot of hydrogen, too. Um, I guess we could go ahead and feed it. We have a system here to do that. Yeah, let's do that. This will just take it and pump it into this room. And eventually we could take it and pump it out of this room, pump it somewhere else, you know? But that'll get rid of all of that uh, hydrogen. Should take it a good while actually because that's a lot of hydrogen to go through i mean like 17 tons 18 tons yeah <laughs> this thing by the way this thing has been working non-stop we probably have just like an absolute insane amount of plastic 25 tons of plastic what do we do with pla this much plastic we've already got tubes basically everywhere is that a tram? That looks like a window tile almost. Let me see. So, do this. Good. Then we'll do this. Fixed. Made up stress test. How's it? Just don't don't even. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Let's <laughs> let's go ahead and move these things. Uh, using airflow tiles, I think. Yeah, I'll probably be good. Uh, iron ore, sure. There we go. Although, there is a plastic layer. Oh, they can fetch the plastic this way. And then we can kill this. And even kill this. Then we can... Instantly tile this guy. Nope, okay. Break that down, please. Thank you. Oh, I can't because of the heavy walk conductive wire. Oh! Oh, I mean, I could just put put a put a thing there, put a joint there. Insulated. I don't need insulated. Just have a joint place. Fine. Don't even. Nope. It's not happening. All right, the songs are. You can't. You can't get the same song stuck in your head twice. This just doesn't make any sense. You construct this guy quickly. Wow. That was wow. Okay. Um, that was fast. Heavy watch joint plate. Then what's it made out of? Iron ore. Cool. Good. Does that go over the top of that? It does. Awesome. Cool. We did it. Look at all that plastic laying on the ground. Okay, so now, now we should uh, put a door here. Wait, is that a, is that also a? Uh, it's gonna need a joint plate too. We're not really gonna be using this space that much. Let's uh, let's put an insulated manual lock here, or. Uh, do we even have regular power in here? Well, we do on this side, actually. I guess we could jump that in and attach it if we need to. Um, tiny isolated, and eh, just whatever, just use a regular one, it's fine. We don't need to have automated doors for everything. And then what we'll do is replace this with a, uh, a joint plate. So we'll get rid of that heavy watt conductive wire, which is going to cut power to like basically the entire base. Uh, we have to replace it, so let's go ahead and put, you see, plastic ladder, deconstruct that plastic ladder. Zap, just like that, and then... Hopefully all the other stuff that's on here will... will work... underneath the, uh, the plate here. Should heavy watt conductive, should I put a conductive in here? Right, it means more power. Eventually we're gonna get to that point, right? 
Can't they use a tube to go in and out? Yes, they can. But I still want a manual way of getting in and out. Just in case there's like power issues and they can't use a tube. That would cause some pretty serious issues. So now we'll just put a ladder, ladder, ladder. There we go. And then we'll get rid of building. So boom, boom, boom. There. That works for me. It's a little wonky looking coming down like that, but it'll do. Uh, heavy walk conductive has a yeah. There's supposed to be a. There's a difference. There's there's two different types of wires. There's heavy walk uh, wire, which is 20 kilowatts, and then heavy walk conductive wire, which is 50 kilowatts. So yeah, there is a difference. Two and a half times. Okay, get this. Get this guy. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, please hurry up, get that. Okay, so now this room is sealed off. Completely. So. <laughs> Notice that the, the, the ladders are nice and cool. <laughs> Who's that? The gamer me. Expired condoms are like nuclear waste. There is nothing sensible you can do with it. I guess so. I guess so. I never thought of that. But thank you. Mr. Rar. Okay, so now let's start figuring out how we're going to pump shit out of there. So... Weird quote, yeah, I know. Water balloons? I mean, I don't know if, they, if they're expired, were they really hold? I mean, I don't know. I never popped up with an expired one. I even went through them. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, ventilation. Let's get a gas pump. Looks like a gas pump down here. Uh, right next to all the power, so we have to worry about power. We said we're about getting the gas out. Can you see how that's going to be a bit of an issue? <laughs> it's a lot of shit to juggle through. And we have to put it down here because the hydrogen is all going to float to the top. So we don't have a choice but to do it like this, right? What if we... What is the density here? It's not that dense. What if we just start pumping hydrogen into the room and just let it push everything down and compress it? And this, this room would just be like highly compressed hydrogen, but still mostly hydrogen. That way we don't have to worry about building the escape for the uh, oxygen anytime soon. Okay, so now, how do I get that hydrogen down here? There's lots of it up here. I'll take that and just push it in here. Then my pinch of pepper nut farm is going to have issues. Which is, I mean, doesn't need that much actual gas, right? Let me see. 150, so it does not need that much. So we could, that's a solution. A quick and dirty solution. There's already an option right here. We could just pull this down, just let it just leak out. We're not really reliant on, on this on uh, uh, hydrogen right now, so we could just do it that way. That's a good idea. Let's try that. Existing. We'll use existing existing hardware to make this work. Oh, wait. Is that a... Oh, there's already one right there. Oh, yeah. We'll just hook it up. I don't even think I need to do anything. I can just probably just do it. No? Did it not work? It did work. I guess it's not... What is this coming from here? This is the natural gas. Okay, that's the filter for the natural gas. Um, I wonder why that's not actually popping out. I guess it's because there's two different things coming. Like there's a open and an open and open. So it doesn't necessarily prioritize this one. If I were to snip this though, it should work. Uh huh. Although, that will cause a problem if there's anything else in this line. Anywhere throughout this side, if there's anything else in this line, it'll cause an issue here. It'll cause it to back up. Uh, I had some that expired a few years ago. I'll check them out for science, of course. All right, man, Bash, do it. <laughs> Please report back your findings. Uh, uh, I had to check the thermal conductivity in game now. Aluminum has 200, but doubles in radiant pipes. I didn't know that it was about this doubling until now. Oh, I see what you're saying. I get it now. Yeah. I see, I see, I see. How's this room doing? Okay. <laughs> Just okay. I guess having the mechanized, or the uh, uh, insulated mechanized airlock here, like, I mean, can I swap it out without actually, what do you use, like, or just a regular mechanized airlock without? Damn, no, I have to actually tear down the door. And if I tear down the door, then I'm gonna let all that shit out, all the hydrogen out, and then I'm gonna have an issue, so. Yeah, we'll just leave that alone. 
It seems to be working though. It's it's definitely getting the control down or getting the, the, the temperature down across the board. As a matter of fact, it's actually cold enough for this stuff to live like, at 20 degrees. So we've solved this problem then. Problem solved. See, all we had to do is a couple of metal tiles. Easy. Okay, now how about this? <sighs> oh, this is yeah, that's right. This is the dormants. We're not adding to this. 28 cycles. Damn, man. Come on. I'm only fast forwarding as hard as I can. Okay, so hydrogen's pouring in. I have, I have yet to, to steal it from up here. I guess I could put something up here real quick and just steal it and just pump it in. Let me see. Uh, gas pump. It's all hydrogen up here, so I think it's probably pretty safe to... Or maybe we should just put it up here just to be safe, actually. How the hell am I going to get that shit down? It's on the power line, though, so I guess we'll leave it there. Regular pipe's fine. Will that work? I feel like that would kind of piss it off. Like with the whole, like it likes to go in a certain direction thing, you know? <clears throat> Put a wall in front of that and it'll replace the door uh, from the corner. Oh, you can replace it from the corner. I forgot you could do that, man. I need to, I need to take advantage of that more often. Uh, I have a... What is that coming from? I get rid of that. Yeah, I could do that. Just to let that kind of breathe a little more. I mean, the problem is solved, but if, I think, yeah, it's not a bad idea. And then they can hop right here and just build it through. <clears throat> okay, and then make this out of... What do we have floating around here? What is this? Lead. Okay, let's talk about the... <laughs> Look at Tana's face. <laughs> He's so happy. All right, let's make it out of whatever. Make it out of Cemetery Rock. And then we'll swap it out. Oh dang! Oh no no! We oh we just passed Lee. We did thirty nine. Ah, oh, we missed it. I you know I noticed we were at thirteen thirty two like obviously several cycles ago, and I was gonna try to make a mental note, but that doesn't work. Okay, cool. So I'll let them build that, and then we'll come back and we'll replace that with uh with some regular, regular ass door. Okay, now in other news, we're still pumping in lots of hydrogen here. Which is good. This is uh, getting built. So this is going to start pumping in lots of hydrogen as well. And so that'll help insulate some of this room here. And just keep it more in check. And we're going to keep it closed. Delete and restart. I know. Let's roll back. <sighs> roll back to a previous save. God, we have so much crap stuck in the, in the lines here. Oh, the algae's in here too. Jesus. Wait, wait. Algae's not one of the ones? Closing? Organic. Yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, just algae. There we go. Probably this one too. Algae. Yeah, it was just algae holding up the line. Can they not reach? Oh, they can't reach that. That's pretty funny. Let's go! Come on, boots! Martha! Mm -hmm. Wow, we've, we've really solved the steam issue. Holy crap. Oh god, this thing's still pumping. <laughs> That's just a huge waste of power. There we go. How's this room doing? Dance. We can also steal from here, by the way. Like, we're not- I'm not averse to going here and stealing some of this shit. Trying to build a rocket. <sighs> eventually. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, by building always a delete. Yo, eventually we'll get to that point though. I mean, just to just to get on that subject for a second. Yeah, we were gonna get to that point where we're gonna start uh working on where is it at? Do I have actually even a, a hotkey for it? I don't think so. Because we we have this project up here and it's just gone to shit. Like I don't know what to do with uh Yeah, like that, that's the, the biggest problem is I just don't know what to do with all of this super hot material. Um, like, I guess, oh, you know what? Now they've added the heat sensors. I could manage that pretty well. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah, they didn't have the heat sensors before. But now I can just automate it. Sweep it up. If it's a certain temperature, it goes into a certain room or something. Which is going to be everything out here. We'd have to build uh, a good amount of storage. I guess, you know what? Maybe out here, we'll you do the infinite storage thing. And we'll just pretend that we're ejecting it out into space. I'm okay with that. Just for, like, RP purposes, you know? 
I, I finally got a damn steam rocket off the ground. It was such a pain in the ass. I know, I, dude, I know. I, I, I've got like this regular little tiny rockets going, but I have not gotten to the point to where I'm shooting off uh, big rockets or anything. Just a little probes or whatever, and that's it. But one day, one day, we'll do that. Cool, sucking up all this hydrogen. There's some little pockets of oxygen floating around here, but that's fine, we'll just get that. All that will just go in. Uh, nothing's getting fed to the, uh, <laughs> nothing's getting fed into the hydrogen, uh, uh, pumps, so that's good. We'll just leave the hydrogen generators alone and not fix them. As a matter of fact, let's make sure that we're not going to fix them. Let me see, just see if auto repair. Even though it's not on anybody's list. Huh, I wonder why. Do I not have aluminum? It's aluminum ore. I have tons of aluminum. It's not out of reach. Is it? No, oh, it's not out of reach. Okay, cool. So, yeah. What up, Hohan? <laughs> Hold on a second. I got my, let, me, let me pull out my spare dick jokes for you, guy. <laughs> Sorry. Hohan missing out on all the, all the dick waggling last night. It's ridiculous. Wow. What are we gonna do with all this fucking gas? This thing is just cranking through this hydrogen. Like I, I'm, I'm actually gonna get, I'm gonna get a little concerned that it's gonna ruin my, uh, my pitch of pepper nut farm. But I, I also have a very shitty setup for that. So maybe we'll end up moving that somewhere else. They're clearly very easy to set up and and work. All you need is hydrogen and just like shit water. Like temperature wise, like it's fine. Like 95 to 80, 185 degrees. Boy, that's really easy to pull off. <laughs> it's like super easy to pull off. Okay. Let's take a look at boots here. So we have, uh, this room is filling up with hydrogen, which is good. It's compressed all this oxygen down. Yes, it is. 3,000 uh, per tile down here. 2,500 per tile. So it's pushing itself downwards. So it's going to collapse at the top and slowly crinkle down. And then we'll empty it out somehow. Um, this thing is, is, wow, this thing's really going. I think what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and uh, disable that because that's <laughs> it's getting scary. I don't want to put I, I really don't want to put oxygen in that room if I hit oxygen in the room if I can avoid it. Oxygen is going in here is so hot. It's so hot right now. Just not the right kind. Can we get rid of this thing? Put a regular airflow tile there. We'll just wait till they come over here and take care of it. Yeah, I want to give these guys better rooms too. Like, uh, I mean, these rooms are okay. They're not. But they could be better. Just, just, just make the rooms fancier, you know? Why can't, you, why can't I not put it there? Why are you going to do this to me? There. I, uh, just looking at Steam to golf with one. Yeah, it was 1.0. It hit 1.0 recently. So that's why we were uh, getting there playing it. They had a new volcano map. That was that was pretty good. It's uh, well, we didn't like it. <laughs> Overall, we didn't really like it too much. Well, how funny! They're pu it's pushing out. Oh, are these guys getting hungry? Overcrowded glum. Yeah, they're all upset. Whatever. Whatever. Hold on. Mm, hatchling egg. Okay. Those suits are like portable saunas right now. They are. They totally are. Wow, look at all this oxygen. This thing really cleared out. That's crazy. Um, yeah, the volcano map they added. In, I, nobody. I don't think anybody was really a fan. Like it was. First off, it was destroying my frames for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and then just there were so many mechanics. It was just like so many like different new mechanics that it was just. It just felt like too much. It was just trying too hard to push all these different. You know. Um, tricks and everything and we were just kind of like mm. uh, 90 percent so 300 go yeah that's the thing so there's but we played a ton of other maps some of them were you know hits and misses as they typically are but overall it was fun but it's mr zero percent stress i know i know it, they, these dupes are not stressed at all which is weird <laughs> which is really weird maybe i should like push them to get more stress well, let's see maybe because my skills aren't up let me see wow look at that i'm not pushing these guys at all they have a cush life look at this 
I mean, they, they, they are learning. They, they, they have jobs. Look at, they have jobs. They have like specializations and everything. Yeah. Um, new to the game, having a lot of fun watching a stream. Don't even recognize three fourths of the things on the screen. Well, I do have a lot of mods uh, active right now, so um, I, got, I can't even begin to point out all the different things that I have. I mean, besides drains to start with. Um, so yeah, I do, I do have a ton of mods, so that that that, that might. Be contributing to not being able to recognize half the shit on the screen. Uh, is this actually still going? Really? It's it's not in. Hold on a second. Does it grow in any gas? I thought it needed hydrogen. Does it not need hydrogen? Oh no! That I, no, it needs. We well, you know we'll find out. Eventually, eventually, this oxygen from other areas is gonna, is gonna propagate, fill the space. So, um, let's see. Natural gas is good. Uh, petroleum is good. This area is starting to clear up. I don't know what you use it for. It's 127 degrees down there. Why is this not multiplayer? <laughs> multiplayer? Oh my god, I can't imagine multiplayer and something like this. Food is good. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. We were gonna make a better. Uh, a, a better kitchen setup for our boy here. And I think we should probably build it over here. We don't really need this room. And it's really oh, close to the uh, natural gas feed, which is what we do need. Courtney! 35 months! Courtney, what up, man? Thank you so much! Ah, for 35 months. Um, let's build a kitchen in here. We had a pretty sick kitchen setup in, in my other save. But it's not going to fit here. Um, I want to make enough room where he'll be able to get everything he needs in here. Mm -hmm. For, uh, for RimWorld, huh? Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, it's one of those things. Like, if it works for RimWorld, I don't see why it wouldn't work for this. Hmm. Oh, a trade system. Dude, that's genius, though, Victor. <laughs> Honestly. Huh. Also, BFF. <laughs> yeah. We have, like, one tile of Abyssalite here. What the hell? How do we even do that? Uh, hope they make a kitchen cap. That's what, I'm, that's what I really want. Like, I feel bad because we... You know, you go through all this work to try to make a cool little kitchen setup for, uh, for your dupes. And then you don't get credit for it. It's like, come on, man. All right, we're gonna replace the, all. We need more ventilation up here because this is gonna build up pretty quickly. So we'll just iron ore that shit, and then we'll put. I guess we'll put, like just back to back food stuff here. Let me see. Electric grill, and then a micro musher, and that gives us uh gives us room for fridge. For materials, fridge, fridge. We don't need an egg cracker. We don't eat eggs. Hmm. Maybe a couple of planter boxes with uh, with some wheeze warts, just keeping the room like temperature, like kind of moderating the temperature before it actually leaves the room. Does that make sense? Because the room below it is pretty warm, right? This room is pretty chill. I don't want this room to have a negative impact on everything else on this side, you know? So actually, you know what we should do? Uh, we should put insulated tile on this side, forcing that those gases to go up. That way they're not uh, interfering with anything over here. And maybe even on the floor. Let me see, well, plastic's a really great insulator. So maybe what we'll do is we'll just do plastic across this thing, this whole thing. There we go. Put you in your plastic room. <laughs> and then we'll do an insulated, uh, quick insulated, uh, lock here. And then we could just bridge any power, we'll run any power to it. And we need a fridge so you can put foods in. Should we put the fridge? I 
I wonder if... I'm trying to think like... Maybe I'm trying to overthink it actually. I think I'm overthinking it. Like he makes the food, but I don't want him necessarily have to leave the room every single time he wants to put food away. But at the same time... Like... If we just put a conveyor in here... And have it go somewhere closer to where they eat, like over here, right? You see, have two fridges over here. Um, maybe we could do. Is there enough tables here for everybody? Probably not. Actually, we could condense this down a little bit. Uh, we could just have a uh, just have a robo thing, auto sweeper. Yeah, you know what? It was one, two, three. This might not be a bad idea. Let's try. We'll put a couple fridges here. Fridge, we'll go one, two, three. Oh, let's flip around. Can we flip those around? Let's see, fridge. And we'll do is we'll turn it. Oh, you can't turn it around. Blah. <laughs> That's shit. <laughs> uh, should we put it with the door? Make it easy accessible, easily accessible here. Let's see. What is making that sound? Conveyor loader. So what we'll do is we'll have them just drop food off in here, and that'll just run up, run up the uh, the rail, and then go up over here. What does that make out of uh, aluminum ore? That's fine. And then it'll go into a receptacle. And the receptacle will throw it into the here. Can we reach all three of those? I think so, right? Yeah, we here to check that. That way, Boots and whoever else the cook is going to be can just work in here without having to worry about, you know, uh, other people coming in and bothering him. <laughs> uh, this is actually pretty... Oh, I see. There's a lot of room here because it's only running that. But we could definitely extend this a bit. What else can we extend that to? We've got power here. This is 2.1. Let's go ahead and come down here and grab this. Ooh, God, don't move, don't move, don't move. It's been a while since I've had an issue with that, uh, with this thing just blowing up and just putting construction things, construction requests across the map. Why don't they fix that? Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get all of these on that same circuit. So all of them are linked to to basically to each other but also to this this one which is pretty low low power requirements here or power draw and then we'll do this and put another one here there this should work now we need gas which we already have some pipe here but this pipe is mostly useless uh but very quickly will not be once we get this part done god look at this mess <sighs> such a mess what is it? Oh, that's right. We did a whole thing there. So let's go ahead and repurpose some of this. <laughs> Actually, we don't need to do that. Let's leave this alone. That way I'm not like leaving all these half finished projects everywhere. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll just tap into this down here. Just anywhere really, I think. Let's see, where's the end? That's in. Uh, uh, let's see, it's being fed. I guess I could split it right here. I mean, not a bad idea. Where does this go? It goes nowhere. So we'll snip this, and then we'll... Ventilation, okay, and we'll just snip from here. Ain't no one gonna miss that. There we go. So now we gotta make this shit look pretty. Uh, let's go ahead and put a couple wheeze warts in here, just to keep this area nice and chill. And then what we'll do is, um, we'll put like a painting or something here. Boots, you watching? <laughs> Let's see, uh, land, here we go. Make it nice, we're making it nice for you. Let's see, gold, what else can I make it out of? Steel, wolframites, I guess gold is going to be our best bet. There we go. And this is going to be for all edible shit. There we go. Actually, no, uh, I, I think I have to be specific. No. Oh, this is fine, actually. So I'll put it there, it'll go up here, and then it'll go into here. 
And this will be basically identical to these three guys here. So we'll be able to store more food too, which is kind of nice. He's not going to have, um, he's not going to have space. There's no space here for... I can cancel my HR. I complain to HR. Okay. All this is, yes, yeah, it's, it's slowly coming together. Should we put some drywall up or something? Something nice? Let me see. Some ceramic some drywall. So these are temperature plates, actually. It makes them see. What do we have? That's fancy. Ice. We have a lot of ice. It must have built that back up. Plastic, insulator, slow heating. Probably not that. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. Let's wait till we get this stuff built. Decor. That's right. Make it pretty. It is not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Hey, dude. Hey. You're, you're doing what with Minecraft? I'm trying to start over in Minecraft to get my account back. Oh, you're trying to get into your account. Oh, hmm. Ah, it's gmail.com, buddy. Oh, and oh, you know what? Actually, no, it's different for this one. I got it. Hold on a second, guys. Let me, uh, let me fix the boys thing. There you go, bud. Done. Got it? Here you go. He has his own, he has his own account. Um, but he also has a habit of just saying his password out loud. <laughs> so that's why I muted the feed real quick. <laughs> Once I saw we were dealing with this, like, oh no, we could, we gotta go ahead and just mute the, mute the microphone for a second. 